the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula is given by x is equal to negative b positive negative square root of b squared negative 4ac divided by 2a. Below is the proof how to arrive this quadratic formula. This formula comes from the quadratic equation ax squared positive bx positive c is equal to 0. From this equation, we will solve 4x by applying the completing the square method. We begin by transposing positive c to the right side of the equation and it becomes negative c. We bring down ax squared positive bx. So our equation now is ax squared positive bx is equal to negative c. The left side of the equation is a binomial and there is a space between bx and the equal sign. Let's make this side, the left side, a perfect square trinomial. However, it's difficult to make this a perfect square trinomial. So what we need to do is to separate a from the expression. We separate a by factoring the expression. So we have these factors. And bring down negative c at the right side. Inside the parenthesis is x squared positive bx over a. Notice here that the coefficient of x squared is only 1. And it is now easy to make this a perfect square trinomial. So for the meantime, let's add a blank. And uh, we will add an expression here to make it a perfect square trinomial. So to do that, we multiply b over a by one half. The product is b over 2a. Then we get the square of b over 2a. We put this in the blank. Now we have a perfect square trinomial inside these two brackets. And the factor of this is the square of x positive b over 2a. We bring down a. What we actually added in the left side of the equation was a times the square of b over 2a. So we also add this expression to the right side of the equation. This expression is equal to b squared over 4a. We bring down negative c. Now these two terms can be formed as negative c times 4a over 4a plus b squared over 4a. Look, we have the same or we have similar terms. We can now combine similar terms and that's negative 4ac positive b squared over 4a. Or rewrite this as b squared negative 4ac over 4a. We bring down the left side. This is our new equation. Since we are solving x, we begin removing a followed by the exponent then by b over 2a. Now we multiply the equation by 1 over a. So what remains in the left side is the square of x plus b over 2a. Simplifying for the right side, we have b squared minus 4ac divided by 4a squared. From this expression, we want to remove the exponent, so we have to extract square root. We have the square root of the square of x positive b over 2a is equal to positive negative square root of b squared negative 4ac over 4a squared. And in the left side, what remains is only x plus b over 2a. While in the right side, we have the square root of 4a squared, and that is 2a. That is found in the denominator. So we have positive negative square root of b squared negative 4ac divided by 2a. Now let's take away b over 2a at the left side in this equation. So we have x is equal to negative b over 2a 
positive negative the square root of b squared negative 4ac divided by 2a. Notice here we have the same denominators, that's 2a. So finally, we can come up with this x is equal to negative b positive negative the square root of b squared negative 4ac divided by 2a. We have proved the quadratic formula.